Welcome back, motorized bicycle enthusiasts and Kevin Chop. Oh, man. Real quick, I, I, I don't know how much you know, man. I know you got some skills. I appreciate your videos. I'm sorry I missed that one. Chainsaw shit's kind of out of my wheelhouse. Only thing I ever really messed with was this uh, 50 millimeter 044. It had a bunch of gap, squish gap. My solder, usually I keep some 1.5 and some 1 or, or some 2 and some 1.5. And, and when the gap's big, it's real simple, man. Uh, I wish I would have paid more attention to your video. A uh, couple things you need to realize. As you drop your cylinder, man, you're totally retarding your transfer timing and your exhaust timing. And you're advancing your intake timing when the cylinder drops. But I understand you got a big whole bunch uh, gap above that. And using your calipers uh, it, it is just trying to induce a lot of error. And when you got a big gap like that, the best thing you could use is a piece of Play-Doh on top of your piston. Torque your cylinder down, roll it up to TDC and squish that. Then roughly measure that and you'd see, hey man, I got like 5.6 millimeters. So right out of the gate, you know... If you take away four, that'll leave you one. And to finally machine it is real easy for you because I guess you do it on your lathe. But <clears throat> when you're removing all that squish, right, or all that extra air gap, you, you want to run a safe 0.85 is super safe to one millimeter max, man. Uh, or, or else you lose cooling, and this is a forced air-cooled motor, typically with a fan for a chainsaw. So, you, it, squish is important. Most importantly, you're retarding your transfers and your exhaust, and you're advancing your intake. Make sure your intake port isn't wide open to the wind, man. And, and as far as these go, as far as a degree wheel goes for this, you could use a positive stop right in your exhaust port. As long as you it hits and stops at the same number... You can't just roughly guess BDC and TDC. I've mentioned that a bunch of times, and it's what's called, what happens is, dwell time. You, ha you, you can have as much as a 10 degree error because you're pissed. And same thing at BDC, so you can't just eyeball this stuff. But anyways, a degree wheel, you put, put a screwdriver in your port, and as soon as it touches off and stops... Say, just hypothetically, it stops at 50. Then you roll it back down. Screwdriver's still in the port. Boom, you want it to stop at 50 again. If it's stopping at 45, 1, and 50, the other, then your degree wheel's off 2.5 degrees. If you use a flexible pointer, you can make that up real quick. So, and then to know your port timing, so all you need to do is look in your exhaust port and see where it just starts to open. Put some light in the spark plug hole. Where it just starts open, take note of it on your degree wheel. It's going to open and close at the same moment in time if your degree wheel is installed properly. If I got your exhaust durations, then then you roll the piston down, looking in the exhaust port till you see the transfer just open. And it's, it's symmetrical. It's going to open and close at the same moment in time. If it's 60... And you can physically see you roll down a piston looking in the exhaust port with the flashlight up there. As soon as it cracks open, take note where it opened. You give me your open and close port timings, I'll be able to tell you roughly how it's going to run. Uh, but before I started, I'd have looked into a different crank, man. Uh, looks like you're having a lot of work, and I'm sure Ken Henson's done this. You know, I don't know if a 44 millimeter crank would have been better for you or, or a longer rod. You know, these are things I just haven't built one and I had no interest in it because I try to do what most people, the average guy can do, but I try to do it really well uh, <coughs> as far as getting one of these junky ones. It, it's rewarding. Chainsaw stuff's cool. 58 millimeter is going to be cool, but. I really don't know nothing about that particular setup. I would have looked at a longer rod or a different stroke, and I would have looked at the port timings and squish before I did anything. I hope this helps you somehow, man.